What up, grinders? Welcome back. It's your boy, Poker Winger, aka Dusty Truth, Arm Poker, Poker Stars. I'm about to start a new Banco Challenge once again. We've done this before. Um, had some success at some of them. Some of them we've gave up. Um, right now, I have $5.11 in my account. My goal is day one is turning that into $500. I'm going to mostly play all spinning goes and uh, maybe some Zoom poker. But at least till I build up the bank account, I'm going to start at the $0.25 cent, um, spin and goes. I'll show you right now my history on the $0.25. Cents. I'll be honest, I don't didn't usually take the $0.25 cents too serious. So I kind of do it when I'm multitasking. But uh, just so you can see from day one what our net is, and we'll bump that up. So it's at $2.44. The graph is nothing special. Our EV is really, really bad. But as you can see, we were really down at one point, And the EV is going to start going up. But... Uh, so day one, we're starting with $2.44 profit there. But the bigger picture is we're starting with $5.11. So let's get started. Um, the reason why my account's down so low, I was just honestly on a big downswing and I've entered a lot of tournaments and uh, I went to $25 zoom and I took a beating there, ran pretty bad. I could show you graphs, but uh, definitely didn't run the hottest and uh, playing a lot of MTTs. So now we're gonna go back to our bread and butter build ups account. Today's August 29th, 2018. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this challenge now is I'm gonna be playing a lot in the winter. So this will give me uh, a decent bankroll to start the winter grind. And in the winter, I'm hoping to turn this into a second part series uh, of turning 500 into 5,000. And then we'll go from there, but we won't get ahead of ourselves. We'll start day one right now from five to 500. If you've never watched me before, I've played a lot of spinning goes. We played uh, 10,000 games in one series. Um, where I forget what it was. Was it like a couple hundred dollars to like 3,000? I don't even remember it off my heart, sadly enough. Here we're going to call. Don't forget, this is 25 cent players, so I'm not going to give them as much credit as I would other stakes here. We just check call table one. Hard to really know, this is a tough spot here, but we're gonna call him. He's got it. So we don't have too many buy-ins. We got a, what is that? Would that be $5? Let's do simple math here. You think I'd know that? Starting the challenge, but I didn't even look at it. I'm gonna be able to feed bets here. That sucks, we're gonna have to lay that down. Really have, I, there's no way I did that right. There's no way I have 2,000 buy-ins. Oh, $5. I think I did 500. That makes more sense. We have 20 buy-ins before we go bust though. That's what we're starting day one with. Uh, and we do, we're gonna start off the challenge with one decent chest. I'm about to get one to start the challenge, and this one will be a better one than we're going to get for a long time because with the low stakes, I won't be able to keep up getting a good one. So our next chest won't be able to give us much. That might boost us up with some coins and uh, that kind of stuff. Maybe even a free tournament buy in here. Yeah, so I've done a lot of spin and goes, played a lot of, I've honestly played pretty much everything. A lot of MTTs, a lot of, a lot of Zoom poker, and uh, a lot of spins. I was playing a party poker for a while. Sorry, uh, yeah, party poker. And had I've had quite a bit of success with the spin and goes. So we're going to start the, at the bottoms here. Hopefully, you, you know, the 25 cents, $1 and $3 will be able to uh, boost this account up pretty fast. I don't really have a goal of like when we'll finish it. So it's hard to say how much I'm going to be playing, but I definitely, whenever I'm going to be playing, I will stick to the challenge. Uh, I've had some challenges in the past when I'm not recording, want to play other games. But this one, if money's in my account, I'm just going to stick to the challenge. I 
I think I'm committed here, probably behind. Ooh, overhead. Nice. I think I'm going to label this guy a crazy player. Seems pretty loose. I think I'm just going to get it in here. This guy's called pretty wide. So this guy's been pretty tight, but we're definitely defending that. All right, he's got the top flush. For him to check that ace, a little worrisome, but we're, now it's, we're definitely gonna check call here. Goes all in, we're gonna call him. Sucks if he has it, but we're pretty strong there. And he's got a nice check. So he's actually, for a 25 cent player, uh, we're gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna rate this, because we'll probably hardly ever bump in him. But for a 25 cent player, not many guys would check that spot there. From what I would think a 25 cent player is. So we start off the challenge, first game's a loss, but looks like that's a good little river for us over here. And we chop it up. I'm surprised he didn't raise us there, but. All right, we gotta call that. Good flop so far. Nice, so we double up. I will call an all in here if someone goes all in on table one. Table one's on the left, table two is on the right, like always. Nice, I'm gonna check this back. These players are, you know, my higher stakes of the, you know, $15 tables and stuff, I, I'd probably bet that flop. But I want these guys to catch up a little bit, give them spots to bluff. Yeah, so we're pretty close to this chest. That could boost off day one a little bit. So I don't plan to play any uh, Zoom poker until we're definitely above $20 uh, or or even the $1. I'm going to stick to $0.25 cents to or above $20 and then uh, might try a buy-in or two at the $2 Zoom tables um, or if I, at that point anything above $20 if I get to my first $21 then I'll do my first $1 game pretty much with 20 buy-ins. Uh, will attempt these lower limits for spinning goes which is pretty aggressive a lot of people say you know 50 buy-ins 40 buy-ins uh even for tournaments some guys even go up to 100 but for this one here these low stakes we're gonna we're gonna go through them you got players like this baby I'm pretty sure we got this guy. I think he would have raised with an ace. Don't know why he kept his last 31, but he did. All right, so we lose to that guy. He was short stack, so I think we're still doing okay. We're chip leader versus a pretty weak player. I think we'll just limp in with an ace and just call us all in here. We're ahead of so much of his range here, so let's just go all in here. All right, we're definitely ahead of his range. Let's see if we can hold. Scary turn. But we do get the win. So we're one for one here. Get a win under our belt. Now I will say what makes me nervous about doing this. I've done about 13,000 spins. We got ourselves our first 6x. Uh, and my biggest spin's been a 25x. So I did 10,000 on party poker. And I've just passed about uh, 3,000 on poker stars since we've been back. Um, and my biggest spin's been 25x, so I'm pretty nervous coming to the 25 cents if I finally get my first big spin at low limits, but it is what it is. If it happens, then we speed up we speed up the challenge, so it is what it is. So hopefully we can boost this up right now with this little 6x. So 
So even though it's not much money, I'm assuming these players would still tighten up a little bit on a 6x, like any other stake. We'll find out. It's hard to tell when it's such little buy-in, but so they're taking it seriously, they should tighten up a little bit. I'm gonna call one here. I'm not gonna just bow because he's got a split. So that could scare him, but it did not. If he checked there, I could have stabbed once. So didn't that guy raise with that or? All right, I got an all in on table one. Or two, sorry. I'm gonna bet this just for fold equity. Check back top pair here. I don't think I'm strong enough to check raise. I'll just keep check calling. That bet there, I don't know how often he folds there, but we might as well just call him. Give him another spot to bluff. He had 5-4, that definitely helped. Let me just go all in here though, if he's bluffing. I don't know if these low sky stakes know this stack size is the bluff. Hmm. Let's just get it in now, I guess. Oh, so a bit of a quarter there. Everything yeah, this bankroll challenge, uh, you guys are poker fans. Uh, Charlie Carroll just started one. Uh, Doug Polk just finished his. This guy's been pretty loose here, but I actually didn't to fold that. It's a little tight there, but I'd rather go all in or fold there. Um, so Charlie Carroll's doing a challenge, $50 to 10000 And uh, that's really interesting if you want to look at another challenge. He's one of the best players, uh, just retired from high stakes. He's uh, been a beast for the last couple of years. So he's doing a challenge right now on YouTube and on Twitch. Uh, Charlie Carroll, if you want to check him out. Doug Polk just did his uh, 100 to 10,000. So obviously it's a lot smaller. I just don't have the time to grind as much as those guys. So um, I just started, I just decided to go a little smaller, just $5 to 500. But I'm also starting at a pretty low stake here. Most of them start at, you know, 50 or 100. At least get themselves a decent bankroll to start, like at least a little more than what we have. Uh, table one, I'm just going to jam in four or five. Does decent if, you know, probably 30% equity if one person calls. And here we just get it in with our ace here. Okay, we need a four or five. There's a four. Get lucky, we'll take it. Try leading out a table one, a two, sorry. He, if he just calls us, we're not in horrible shape. It's a bit of a strange race from guys been pretty tight. Smells like a pocket pair. I jam him anyways. Queen 10. He gets the queen. Okay, we're still in the 6x though. I won't always do t two tables, sometimes I'll do three, sometimes I'll do four. I just figured to start off, go a little slower. 
um, you know, especially while we're s still pretty low on buy-ins um, as we get more. But uh, if I only have two table lists, um, this challenge will take a while. So I'll definitely be running more tables, especially when I'm on my own, uh, not recording. The disadvantage of not twitching it is, you know, I can't grind for eight hours making an eight-hour video on YouTube. Didn't really know it was even wrapping over there. I just, huh, still good. All right, all in for the six X. Okay. Big buying folds there. Oh, I still might just come over top here. Even though this guy's has only raided once in 24 hands, though. I think I'm still gonna just gonna jam him, though. Probably not the best with someone who's only raised once, but he's so tight that he's gotta have something decent to call. Yeah. All right, we lose another one over there. Not too worried about it, though. You're going all in for the 6x. Ooh, the flush got there. Oh, yeah, the open end flush draw. Assuming he was favored on the flop. But yeah, he was a huge favorite on the flop. Man, I don't even think I can call this here for 40. Yeah, to eliminate someone. Yes, we do. Ooh, there's our four. Nice. So we're heads up. We'll check call. I think we should be good here in table one. Just in case we have ship position, we don't get check raise there. Okay, King 10, even though he's tight, we got a call in that spot if he would have went all in. Now we'll just put on pressure. We know this guy won't call unless he has it. See if we can get back into this. Okay, we'll call him now. All right, here we go. You can keep jamming on tight players in a 6x like this. Like, uh, I could even jam there, but eventually he's going to wake up with a hand, but um, he's not going to call just out of spite. No matter how many times you do it in a row, he does, they won't have the confidence just to call you for this just because you've been going all in. He could be this tight just because it's a 6x. So if I play him in a different game, he gets a little loose. I'm going to call King High here, table one. Okay, I'm even going to try a small, smaller raise here, see what he does about it. Is this guy really having kind of a jack now? I don't believe this guy. Two bad cards to come. I think he caught a jack. Yeah, I didn't believe him, but he got there. So let's just give him a bit of a 
This guy's limping in. He could be trapping. He's been raising a lot. I'm gonna call one. If he checks it, we'll try to steal it. And table two, but yeah, we'll try to steal that. We, we could represent the eight nine there. I don't know if he's checking his ace. Yeah, I think he would have bet it two two times there. So this isn't so much what I have, it's all based on what he'd be doing with his range. Obviously you prefer to have blockers and stuff, but you don't have to have them if you think you know how an opponent plays. crazy loud for me. Wow, I guess we gotta call him, him doing this over bet though. Is that just always gonna be two pair? Ugh, that's actually a horrible spot because he's been so tight. Do that 5-6. I feel like he has two pair though. I just don't know how I fold this. was he two pair. Okay, good, good call. Nice, and we locked down the 6-X. So he's super tight and just just that's just the inexperience of a, a 25 cent player. So that puts us in the green, just like that. So I'm going to be seeing, oh, I didn't mean to lead out there. Maybe it will work out, but that was a misclick. He punishes us for it. Okay, we're all in on table one. Here's his king. Get it hard, hard. Nice. Go all in there, Mario. No. All right. I could just limp in. You know what? I'm going to get so aggressive. It's raised 64% of the time. There he goes. All right. This guy seems just as aggressive. We'll go all in if he wants to do it on table two. If he goes all in and something stupid, it's only 40 in the middle. Table two? Well, I don't know, is it even worth calling him? No, I'm just gonna give it to him. Just gonna give it to him. Okay, heads up against the aggressive player on table one. Check back, it's a pretty shitty board on table one here. Guess we check call now. Nice. Okay, he's so aggressive and he saw us checking when we missed. There he goes, we got him. Let's actually just label him a donkey. I would like to lock this first chest, but it's going pretty slow. We need 21 more points. Oh no, 70, 71 points for our chest.
know we're getting crazy good odds here. Wow. We're just getting crushed though. Guess a three or a king and we're golden, but Queens. Okay, let's give this guy a little bit of a tight guy. Okay, I'll look, try to get it in table two. Well, he's got a deuce. All right, we get out flopped on table two, no big deal. Nice, we got another 6x. A little better straight here in table one. So two sixes is the starter, we'll take it. I guess we'll even call an all in here against these players. Ace nine, it is a 6x. If I was playing like a $20 spin and go or something like that, like on party poker, my bottom range would usually be like ace nine suited there and then ace jack, but here I'm actually just going to give for him to lead out there. It's a little strange. It's not any draws there. Okay, it's a good flop. Wow, we keep getting these scary boards here. It's too bad. I could probably lead out here, but on table two. So I think at the 25 cents, we have played already a handful of games. We haven't been three bet once, I don't think. Maybe a three bet all in. But they, they definitely don't three bet enough. So because of that, we're going to be raising a lot more pre flop knowing that. They're either gonna just fold or call. Cause they just they just don't three bet. Oh my god, I did how about the misclick? Oh my god, how about we just flop the nuts on a on a six X and we just fold? Uh please trust that was a misclick. I was not afraid of uh I don't even know what I'd be afraid in that spot. I guess we're just gonna keep betting the goods here after that. Well, I don't see him folding too much if we had all those draws. Wow, he would have. All right, we're gonna big double up. So I have this guy's a tight player, then he picks that spot to, to bluff. So we're just gonna play more of a rookie. I'm just going to pocket control table too. Very strange to check that ace. She doesn't raise it all. It smells like a pocket pair now. Jack 10's there too, but it smells like pocket 8's, pocket 9. So let's see if we're right and we can get some value out of like pocket 8's. Let's see what happens here. Watch this. Pocket 8. Show us pocket 8's. 2 9. Okay, the reads are a little off at the 25 cent level. I guess after 2-9, we call this, even though you haven't 
yeah, I guess we're gonna call that out of position there, ace two. Wow. King's gonna get there. That's unfortunate. All right, we got a four X. Pretty sure we can get away with a little raise here in table one. Let's try it out. All right, bad timing. All right, we're back into it on table one. Jack two, nice call, sir. But I'm gonna leave you do that. Oh. <clears throat> so in our short little bit, we've learned that 25 cent players do not like to spin, uh, do not like to fold too often. So we'll try to keep our bluffs a little lower than we're used to. In general, we play pretty aggressive when spinning goes. I think I call here. I don't think he's. Ah, uh, you know what? I will. It sounds like a six, though. So. Oh, nice. That's why we called, baby. All right. We lock up a win here on table one. I think he's going to jam us, so he didn't. But I think we got him here. There we go. All right, I think. Oh, we didn't. Man, you do not get a lot of points uh, for these 25 cent games, that's for sure. That's a pretty good flop here. Ooh, not good enough. So how much do we get here? It said 
All right, pocket queens table one here. Let's see if he comes over the top of us here. Yeah, it's a pretty good river on table two. Hard, a little harder for him to have a king. So I think we're going to bump him up here. Ooh, pocket jacks. Wow. Try a bit of a over bet there on table one, see how they handle it. So it's not the best river. <laughs> a nine or hard, but I don't know if he ever checks any of that. Can't get checked raise. I guess I'm just gonna do that. If I would have been he raised me, I have to fold, so. All right, we're ahead on table one. And we chop it. Could have raised with 10-9. I didn't because the big blind was small stack, but when he was all in there, I was a little worried about that. All right, all in for table one for the win. Oh, I thought they were both gonna call. Okay, we're gonna win on table one. Sorry, I know it's day one of a challenge, guys. It is late at night for me, though. I did want to start the challenge, so I uh, did a video here, but I am tired, but this is day one. We got our third 6x to start the first day. Let's uh, go two for three here by winning it. We got already a, a rookie player we've labeled. So I feel like we're ahead of here in table one. We're just gonna check call. Nice. So this is definitely a rookie player. Doesn't know how to bet, doesn't know why he's betting. He's kind of just pressing buttons. So it's my first hand with this guy in spin and goes. Sorry, in uh, yeah, spin and goes. I have him labeled a rookie because it says zero hands here or four hands, but the same amount I played the other guy. So that means I've labeled him that in uh, like a Zoom series or something. So there's still a good chance he's a pretty weak player in these.
Oh, excuse me. So he was chasing a heart there. Wow. He didn't go run runner spade. He led out with it. Why do I not believe him here? Is that crazy not to believe him? Why is he bluffing that? Hmm, maybe he missed. A7. So he led out with the 7. Nice hand. If that would have like had us all our chips, I think would have folded, but I knew it still had uh enough to stay in the game. It's a good thing we should be able to take this down by just doing a C bet. Ooh. Okay, if he checks it, mm, I still think we go all in here. Because I think he has a missed draw here. Could be wrong. Ooh, nice. Pocket King's table two against a tight player. Didn't do my usual. Usually I raise higher than the small blind. Okay, we don't have a club here, so we're going to protect our hand. Ooh, it's not the best flop. We're gonna do one C bet here and then shut her down on table one. Yeah, that was a pretty bad board to C bet on, but four. Wow, what are we ever beating here? This is a seven all the time. Ace eight. So we were ahead in the flop when we bet. go all in on table one here if he bets. Guess we have some fold equity to bet. Okay guys, we're gonna just go all in here. It's all the best we can do on table one. Oh nice play. Calls with the ace high. Wow. Nice call. Hmm, excuse me. Another 6x. Holy moly, the 6x's are out on the 25 cent games. Okay, we're going to end the video day one after these two ones, so let's end it on a good note. All right, guys, we're just gonna go all in the first hand. Okay, we're ahead. That's a nice turn. Excuse me. So I think he's maybe got a nine or a four here. So let's see how much money we can make. Maybe a little 40 off him. There we go. Let's see if we got a four to call us or a nine. What do you got? Show us it. He had a four. So I don't think if we would have bet strong, that Jack would have scared him. It's the beauty of checking that flop with a player like that. All right, that should lock up a big hand for us on uh, table three here, or two, sorry.
Okay, we're all in on table two. Hopefully table one, too. Okay, we need to get lucky. Ooh, so far we do. Nice. So we're heads up on table two and table one for the 6x. We'll go all in table two, obviously. Okay, I think we got a value town here. This is usually a call in this spot, but he hasn't been raising too much. I don't think he's doing that with a worse hand than that. So I didn't copy the chart there in my head. Like I just, uh, based on how I think my opponent plays and what he's gonna shove with, I doubt it he knows his proper ranges. It's a pretty good turn. Gives a couple more outs. Didn't help us, but nice. Okay, all in for the win on table two. Nice, we lock up table two. So let's concentrate, see if we can end this day one with a nice 6x win here. Find out our total. Okay, I'm going to see about this. We have fold equity. There we go. Yeah, if he goes all in there, I was going to say we'll call, but he didn't. All right, we're going to call him. Okay, we're ahead for the win. And we do it, baby. So we end day win with a profitable start. We're up to $7. So from $5, that's, you know, what is that? Four, eight buy-ins. So that's definitely a good start to the uh, challenge. Sorry, even though it's day one, I don't have crazy amount of energy. I am tired, like I said. I don't know if that's fully updated yet. Probably not. Don't forget, we started the video with that set, 244, whatever that was. So, uh, end day one in the...